Recently here at Morphosec, we had a call from a potential customer who was under a ransomware attack and were looking for a solution to protect themselves. Lately, we've been seeing a growing number of organizations from around the world reporting that attackers are exploiting coronavirus fears by posing as legitimate government agencies in phishing attacks. These attackers are leveraging multiple evasive tactics that bypass many defensive solutions, which eventually allow them to launch in-memory evasive attacks on the endpoint, encrypting all documents and demanding payment via Bitcoin. In this video, we'll demonstrate how Morphosec pr protects against these unknown in-memory evasive attacks, such as those leveraged in the NCOV ransomware attacks, all without any prior knowledge. Now in this example, we have a user who's received an email from what appears to be from the World Health Organization with information that's going to assist their organization in this most recent global pandemic of the COVID-19 virus. Users will, without hesitation, open up the document because of the fears, wanting as much assistance as they can. The way the attackers have actually crafted this email, it's instructing them on how to open the document, document because of possible incompatibility issues, instructing them to enable editing and enable content. Now behind the scenes is a macro that's going to reach out to a command and control server to download a payload in multiple s files and combining it only once it hits the endpoint. By doing this, it actually bypasses many sandboxing solutions. Once we close this out, we can see behind the scenes that PowerShell opening up downloading the file and executing it on the endpoint. What's going to occur now is a, an overflow condition that's going to crash Outlook, launching the attack. And because this file was not digitally signed, it's informing Microsoft of such. But even if I say no, that encryption still happened behind the scenes. Now, I'm being left with instructions on how to retrieve my documents back. Now, we're going to revert this image back to its original state where we're then going to open up the exact same document in the exact same state, and then we're going to take the time and actually install Morphosec to show how we can protect against this attack. I'm going to open up the document, enable editing, and enable content, just as we did before. Now I'm going to open up a shell just so that I can install the client. Now, keep in mind that this installer is actually being installed on a live computer with this document up and running live and in memory. Morphosec, once installed, is actually going to search that, uh, that endpoint, looking for all known programs that should be operating in memory and protecting it. Once we get Morphosec installed, we should see an icon popping up right around here. With that icon installed, we now know that Morphosec is up and running. Once I close this document, just as it did before, it should go out to the internet to try to download and execute that content. But because Morphosec is installed and the way it does its protection against memory-based attacks such as this, it'll prevent the attack from happening, protecting the endpoint. 